Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Jose and let's learn another poem Shape or Shaped written by Harindranath Chattopadhyay. So first of all let's take a look at our writer or our poet Harindranath Chattopadhyay. He was born in 1898 that is towards the end the very end of 19th century and he was the younger brother of uh, the nightingale of India. as mahatma gandhi calls rojini naidu okay so uh, harindranath chattopadhyay was the younger brother of sarojini naidu okay and he was a bengali intellectual hmm? and he marked his presence in various field okay uh, he proved his talent in various field like poetry drama films music paintings etc he was also a member of rajya sabha for some time okay and about his poetic career uh, he wore, he published a huge number of works and it spanned uh, over more than a half century more than 50 years okay and what marked his writings were music and verbal felicity the expression of the right words these were the ha- uh, hallmarks of his writing and about the poem shape or shaped it is divided in the four stanzas with eight lines in each one okay and uh, the poem expresses the gradual maturing of the poet's consciousness and individuality see uh, how he thought in his youth and how he behaved in his youth and what change happened to him when he got that you know self realization or maturity okay that is discussed in this poem Okay. See, even about the, uh, our poet Harindranath Chattopadhyay, it said that the poet was full of energy in his youth, but a uh, foolish self worship made him arrogant during his youth period. Okay, what ruled him was ego or obsession with the self or self worship. Okay, and later through the self realization. he came to understand the importance of humility okay, and it changed he, uh, him into a totally a different person with prudence and humility okay this thing as described in our poem shaper shaped as i said earlier this poem deals with a change of a man's obsession with himself when uh, he got that self realization and uh we already said that each stanza has eight lines okay this eight lines can be divided into two parts with four four lines in each uh, part okay and where the first one the first part says how the poet used to think of himself or how he used to be in his youth and the other part explains the change that happened to him the change that occurred to him uh through the self realization okay and uh, uh the experiences that happened in the occurred in his life both bitter and the sweet one they molded in him prudence and humility that uh, you know they molded him into a different person a totally different person take a look at the first stanza of the poem shape or shaped in days gone by i used to be a potter who would feel his fingers mold the yielding clay to patterns on a wheel see in gone days in old days the, all the days that have gone uh, our poet used to feel like a potter and who is creating you know different vessels and uh, designs with his own fingers uh, he is molding the clay that is you know put upon the wheel you know that potter's wheel right upon which the clay is put and shaped into different uh, vessels fine so similarly pots and vessels similarly here in the old days he used to feel like he is the creator he is the ultimate creator who can do anything with his own hands he shaped the clay. he used to feel like he is the potter who shapes you know uh, the clay upon his wheel upon to uh, you know based on his own wish but later but now through wisdom lately one that pride has gone away have ceased to be the potter and learn to be the clay see but now through the wisdom that i have received lately what happened is that pride has gone away 
in youth he used to be like a proud you know creator or proud potter but i uh, or the poet no longer feels uh, that pride okay i cease to be the potter he stopped being the potter and have learned to be the clay uh, he learned to be the clay in the hands of that superior or the big creator or the divine spirit okay so here we can see the reference from a bible from the bible that jeremiah chapter 18 verse 6 that is you know image of a potter and a clay that is god is the potter who fashions as clay or we we are the clay and he fashions as according to his wish that reference can be seen here okay so he, uh, in the old days uh, where he was full of you know ego or self obsession he was obsessed with the self he used to feel like a potter now he learned to be the clay and in the second stanza he says in other days i used to be a poet through whose pen innumerable songs would come to win the hearts of men see in the other days in the older days or during his immature period he used to be a poet okay he wanted to be a poet or a singer whose pen would create innumerable song a number of song that will uh, win the hearts of men that will uh, that uh, you know a number of works or poems or songs that would be adored by the people that will bring them fame okay but now through new got knowledge which i hadn't had so long but now i've got a new knowledge he is fortunate enough to get a, a new knowledge okay and uh, which i hadn't had so long okay he received it le- recently lately that then he ceased to be the poet i have ceased to be the poet and have learned to be the song see he stopped being the poet he stopped taking pride being the poet and he learned to be the song sung by that divine you know musician or the divine creator no he realized that he is a song composed or sung by the creator or the divine spirit or the god okay so he stopped being the poet and learned to be the song sung by the god okay so here what uh, we can see is poet and song he used to be a poet he used to be a pride poet and he learned to be the song sung by the or composed by the divine creator so we'll continue in our next class and as your home assignment please write a short note on the poet harindranath chatopadhyay thank you so much